Hello. I uh, wanted to make another video here for uh, Southern Bible I received just uh, about a month or two ago. Um, maybe even less than that, but it was a it's the TBS classic reference Bible. They make uh, they make pretty good Bibles. Uh, you know, it's uh, again I, I I tend to kind of hold everything now towards like local church Bible publishers. Who, who who make uh, really good good Bibles? I mean, they're, they're I couldn't recommend them enough. But um, I believe it was um, when I received the the TBS um, Westminster Reference Bible, you know, uh, recommended by by Eric, who who makes other videos here on YouTube. If you you can go check them out, but um, but. Uh, he had recommended that uh, the, the the Westminster, and I I went ahead, grabbed it, liked it. I use it a lot, and uh, since then I've decided just to kind of get the, a couple of others from them. This is one of them here, the Classic Reference Bible. Um, so everything it kind of comes with there, you know, and everything there at the bottom, all these features. Um, it is uh, calfskin leather. Uh, reminds me here it is here it reminds me of my small Cambridge I have uh, I've had it for many years it's no it's pretty pretty flat there nothing really to show there but leathers kind of pretty rough pretty hard nice green though So you get a, a little a bit over six inches here by four and a half inches. Let me see if I get a, a ruler here. Just to be sure. It's almost five. It's almost it looks like it's almost seven by five there. The the others must have been uh just a page size. Here it is. French Morocco leather. Otherwise it's it's you know it's advertised as calf skin. See how it's pressed down here with the glue. Kind of feel like it's gonna last. These, these, uh, I think it's well built. Well built Bibles. I really do enjoy their, their Bibles. It, it does not lay flat, by the way. I know many look after that. I, I, I am one who, I like a flat Bible. I like when it's just, just kind of hangs, you know, and just kind of, the leather just kind of flows, but. This, this does not stay open. I imagine if I work it a while, it, you know, because it is it is so bound. I figure after a while it's going to uh, that's where I bought it from, Evangelical uh, Bible dot com. I believe this one was like maybe thirty two, thirty six dollars. Uh, I can't remember right now, but uh, you do have a seven point font here was uh, references kind of small very small uh, not a big deal for me I know some some people it, it would bother bother them a lot um, I know it's the uh, the local church Bible publishers has a a smaller Bible I have it there I believe it's the 131 I could be wrong right now I'm just kind of going off the top of my head you know, it's, uh, they have like a like a margin that's pretty wide. You know, it has like a margin there. I really wish, uh, cause that that's my that's my dream Bible there to to see a Bible that thin, um, with a with a larger font because that font there is is about 5.5 5 and a point and it's really really tiny. Not this one. I'm talking about the local church Bible publishers. Uh, I believe it's the 131. Um, 
that's what I keep thinking of, uh, as far as the numbers, but um, the the font's pretty small, 5.5. If, if I were to compare this with local church Bible publishers, the, the Bible it, it would closely resemble, I believe, would be the 115, which I also uh, took video of. I wish I could compare it physically with it, but I cannot because um, I did gift that Bible away to somebody who, who was in need of a Bible and led that person to the Lord, and she just, uh, she, she, I just really wanted to help that person out. But anyway... Um, I think, uh, I think if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely get the 115 again. Um, the font's a little bigger, I believe. Uh, probably should have checked that out before. I, I believe the, the font, oh, I remember now, the, the font for the, for, for the 115, local church Bible publishers, 115 is, uh, is, uh, 8 point, maybe 8.5, about eight and a half. Uh, font there compared to this is about seven I believe um, it's not bad this isn't bad at all you know uh, go back to the beginning here and just kind of show you some of the features it has kind of closing on me there it just kind of goes there you see the presentation page a uh, couple of blank pages Let's see produced by Cambridge so it is uh, for those of you who, who are concerned about um, the text the King James text it was uh, this is this is Cambridge uh, I have, I tested, I know I tested the, 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 the Westminster towards a, a couple of lists out there, you know, people who are concerned over the pure King James, um, I know it's the Westminster, Westminster for sure, it was uh, passed the test, um, somebody had made a comment on the last video I just made with the Holman, uh, I believe the Holman, they did use the Cambridge I I went through the list as 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 I know there's people who who usually ask questions about that did, you know how how did it do and um and uh that one uh, just I just I think I I heard it maybe in a video where it might have been a you know Cambridge so um I did compare it to the list and I believe it was only like two words and it was can't remember what it was right now, uh, but it was a couple of words that uh, out of like let's say a list of fifty, um, maybe it was forty, maybe somewhere around there. It was just, uh, wasn't that that big of a list I compared it to, but uh, somewhere between thirty, forty, maybe words, and I uh, went through every one of them, and and out of that whole list, uh, two words were were probably modernized. I guess is best uh, best way to. Um, word it but um it's what you get is it translated to the readers here kind of just kind of showing what you get through this bible I just get the word of the lord there it's a it's a nice small bible nice compact bible um, nothing really bad to say about it. So, uh, it's it's what I expected. I did order the 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 Windsor uh, text, and and I, I just from seeing a couple of reviews on that one, I I, I haven't received it yet, but uh, just from seeing a couple of reviews, I do expect it to lay flat. Um, I guess where, wherever they made this Bible, um, I know I, I knew this uh, minutes ago, but right now my mind's blank, but the, the paper was kind of creased up, not everywhere, every now and then you just see a, I don't know if you can see that, the paper kind of creases up, and, and it'll be like that for maybe 40 pages and it goes away, and then it, it, it stays flat. 
I'll show you where it goes with the uh, I know there's uh, under somewhere on Matthew I'll go to Matthew and it's all black black print by the way see here's Matthew 24 and there goes that line right oh wait I'm feeling it here somewhere there it is it's just like a crease um, I deal with paper all the time uh, over 20 years now and and um, usually we see this it's moisture in the paper uh, while it's in the printer um, you know you don't see it too, that much kind of goes away after a few pages but uh, do doesn't bother me doesn't bother me at all um, I, I would imagine it's, they don't make all their Bibles like this it's not something that happens all the time um, I imagine it's just a, just a fluke but it's not a big deal for me um, this is a uh, you know it's sewn bind as I said it does come with two ribbons nothing to brag about there and uh, I believe that's about it that's uh, you know you, you, towards the end you get a let me see if you get um get a concordance no that's not a concordance let me let me go here got the Bible trying to close on me I got some pages there getting stuck didn't experience that until right now it's a, it's a word list word list of uh, what's considered archaic words you know you got quite a few pages of that abbreviation of all the books kind of feel like you don't need that but I guess somebody might be excited over that I know I wouldn't I wouldn't care reading the Bible so you get a a plan a two year plan There's so many plans out there you can just look it up on the internet um, somebody might again somebody might need this and so I can see how somebody would, would just love that um, I was gonna say there's a <laughs> was I knew I saw maps in here but seeing these blank pages I almost thought it didn't have them but yeah I, it does have uh, some maps Cambridge Bible maps there um, yeah, it's got a few maps. They're all right. Very few. A few pages here. And that's about it. It's at pretty much where it ends. But, uh, of course, I, I always keep a few post-its in the back just in case uh, I'm going to need it. That's about it. So this was uh, just showing my Trinitarian Bible Society classic reference Bible it's a uh, it's a nice Bible it's a nice compact Bible um, it's an inch and a half here though uh, maybe a little less than an inch and a half about an inch maybe an inch and a quarter um, I don't know maybe measure it really quickly why not Yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Anyhow, it wasn't the liveliest of videos I've made, but <laughs> I have been wanting to put this one up just to uh, just to show it off out there that uh, that uh, TBS does make nice Bibles. It it, it, it is calfskin. Um, I know one of the next vi videos I want to make is going to be the the um, uh, the 
I forget what the, the BPS, the uh, large print Bible, just, just to kind of show uh, that when it was gifted to me and I've, I've been meaning to make a video for that one and um, kind of excited about that one just because I do use it a lot when, when I'm when I'm ministering um, or over the pulpit that is or, or, or at a Bible study uh, just uh, love the, the I, I really do like that Bible but, but the leather on it's just nothing to brag about I'll be showing that uh, next time y'all have a good day be blessed